Welcome back guys. So in this video, we're going to continue blocking out. And I think we're going to end the video with the blocking out stage here. And uh, we want to work on the base for this one. And this is going to be uh, another simple shape, guys. This is a giant rectangle. So without further ado, let's go to create sketch, select our 2D background. And what I want to do is use the two point rectangle. And remember, if you can't, if you don't see it out here, you can go to create rectangle, two point rectangle. And then we'll just, uh, yeah, just start outlining this. And we do want to go beyond the body here. So around the above the top and bottom, right click it. Okay. Now, one thing I want to make apparent is that this is going to be a little lower. So we'll drag this down a little bit around here. And this top will be lower as well because it's in perspective. So we should never see on top of the model. We should only see the sides, which is about here. So now that we have this established, now we can start uh, getting this general block out. We're not going to worry about this re rectangular piece that's uh, extruding beyond the sides because you can see in the reference that there's a transition between these two. You can see the way the light reflects off of it. So keep in mind, always light tells a lot about anything, guys. Lighting is really important. And because of that, it gives us a lot of details and uh, you know things about the model that we wouldn't have known otherwise. So once we have this, we can basically start eyeing this. So somewhere around here, we want to have that nice transition. Once we have that, we can trim off this access area in the front. And as far as the back, we have um, this rectangular piece and we can um, just block it out right now. We're not worrying about like too much detail. So We'll select this profile, press pull it, go back to the front view. We'll just bring this out somewhere around here, right? Because you don't want it to be too far out. And we have another reference that we can also view, guys. So don't just um, follow me intendedly, blindly, you know, because we have two different ones. We can kind of see how far we need to bring it out. And I think this is safe somewhere around here. Or we can actually dial it back a little bit too, but it doesn't really matter. Then we'll change this to new body if it's not there already. Change the direction from one side to symmetric. We have this. And we could dial this in. I'd rather dial this in a little bit more. I think I'd feel safer about that. Somewhere around here. Then we can hit OK. Now that we have this here, we know that we need to create this little footstep on top that extrudes beyond here above. So what we'll do is select this area inside, go to create sketch. We'll choose offset. Remember, modify offset if you don't see it. We'll choose this area and we'll just dial this in. Once we have this dialed in to somewhere around here, looks good. And I do want to make this a little bit smaller because I, I think it goes too far forward. So what I'll do is just block this off with the two point rectangle and I'll bring it to somewhere around here. And I'll see if I can trim off this access line. And once I have this, I want to uh, round off these corners. And I can do it now or I can do it later. I'd rather do it on the body level so we have more to play with. So let's select this profile and press pull it. We can bring this up to somewhere around here. Change from cut to new body. Hit OK. Don't forget, guys, we could always make adjustments and we need to, you know, trim off this back end later on. So you know, don't fear because the block out is bigger than or smaller than the reference because it's the block out. <laughs> so keep that in mind. So now that we have this here, we're done with the block out. Generally, um, we could um, start working on this other extended piece, but I, I'd rather work on that once we start getting more details, you know, intact. So I'll catch you guys in the next video.